don't like camping. I don't like being outside. I don't do well in nature. And I firmly believe that if the great outdoors were so great, we wouldn't have invented houses. So last weekend, I had to go camping. Damn it's heck. really cold and we're all losing our minds. <laughs> and yes, I did have fun. But you know what would have been better than camping is glamping. Glamping is glamorous camping, where you're basically still inside and it's almost like you didn't even leave. Why go camping when you can go glamping? Here's five ways to glamp. Number five, cleansing wipes. Okay, so there really is no reason to do your makeup in the woods. There's no one to impress but some squirrels and some logs and some random dirt. There was so much dirt! But if you want to, you can still do a full face of makeup and then take it off at the end of the day with some cleansing wipes. Just like if you were home. Why didn't you just stay home? While I was in the wilderness, I started to feel absolutely disgusting. But having some cleansing wipes made it easier to pretend I had recently taken a shower. I put them on my face and I felt cleaner. I put them on my armpits and across my vagina to pretend I had taken a shower. Are we not allowed to say vagina? Am I not allowed to say that on the thing? Is that fine? Sorry. Oh, okay. So, use some cleansing wipes to at least make yourself pretend you feel kind of clean, even though within 30 seconds you'll just feel like you're covered in dirt again, but at least you had 30 seconds of relief. If you're enjoying this video so far, which I hope you are because I am literally telling you how to survive, hit like on it and subscribe to Hizzy Bit. Number four, a Bluetooth speaker. Turn your campsite into a rager by bringing a Bluetooth speaker. It'll really take your camping adventure to the next level and maybe, just maybe, you'll forget you're sleeping outside. I brought this speaker with me. It's a UE Boom and we used it to play scary music while we told ghost stories to make it extra scary. Or you can listen to aggressive rap music to really get into the nature mood. It will make you feel one with the leaves. Plus, I think music keeps bears away. Or attracts them. I don't know, I'm not Johnny Appleseed. Also, if you're not going to the woods to get turned and have a good time, what are you doing there? Even if you are, what are you doing there? I don't know, but music helps. Make sure you charge this thing though, because when it dies, so does the fun. Number three, a portable toilet. Okay, yes, the campsite I was at had public restrooms, but they were really far away and they were really scary to walk to at night and they smelled absolutely terrible, like all of my hopes and dreams had died under my bed to be discovered weeks later. For less than $75, you can have your own private shitting oasis in the middle of the forest. I'm buying one for my next camping trip. Just kidding, that's never happening again. But if it does, I'm gonna get one of these and make my friends carry it. Except for, actually, I don't know, these have like a five gallon tank inside of them that like stores all the shit. And who wants to clean that shit out? Like literally, who is going to clean out the shit? It's not going to be me. It'll be my friend Brian. What I would actually prefer is this like toilet shaped thing that just had a hole that just went to the ground. And then you can just pick up the toilet and take it with you. Or you could leave them there and then the woods will just be filled with random toilets for everybody to use. Number two, an espresso maker. Just because you're roughing it in the woods does not mean you have to go without a latte. This manual espresso from Rock Espresso is exactly what you need because it doesn't use electricity. It's manual, you just gotta push down on the arms and then boom, LA level coffee. I don't even drink coffee, but I want this just to prove a point. But I don't have to give up the luxuries of normal life because you made me sleep in the woods. Yes, I understand. The stars are beautiful. Yeah, I get it. It was a really nice view. I don't need it. I'll take the smog in LA. I don't need to, ugh. I don't need to be outside. You know, they made me climb rocks. Can you see me climbing a rock? They made me climb a rock that was the size of like three buildings. Involuntarily. I almost died. Not really, there was, there was no chance of death. But it was hard. Number one, a portable cook stove. This little stove is cute and functional, and I need it because I am cute, but not functional. This BioLite stove creates smokeless flames for all of your cooking and water boiling needs. And I realized that you really need a stove out in the middle of nowhere, because all camping is, is cooking a bunch of food outside to get some kind of like pride that you can survive outside. Grill in your backyard if you need to the, the fulfillment of I made food outside. If you don't feel like spearing Bambi and eating its flesh, which I definitely did not feel like doing, make sure you bring lots of your own food to cook. All we did was cook. My friend made green beans and grilled corn, which was very good, but I happily would have eaten it at home. We also made a lot of hot dogs, like an absurd amount of hot dogs. Like no one person 
should consume as many hot dogs as I saw my friends consume. Wow, I see them differently now. I did make the ultimate s'more. That was probably the highlight of the trip. Pro tip, use Reese's cups instead of plain chocolate. Yeah. That makes for a much better s'more. Did you guys see my camping vlog? Did you see how much complaining I did? That was not an exaggeration, okay? It was real. I had a lot of fun, okay, it was fun. It was fun, it was fun. I enjoyed it, I just, I don't need it. It was fun. <laughs> Sorry, I have to stop. Also, you know what else? My hair still smells like smoke. It's been two weeks and I can't get the campfire smell out. I know some people like love that smell and cherish it. Not me. I don't want to smell like fire. I want to smell like flowers. I can't get the smell out of my hair. Help. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about camping and why you don't need to do it. Leave me a comment about your favorite camping accessory or if you just like camping, do you? Will you tell me why? Because I want to understand. See you next time. Not in the woods or outside. Inside.